Hey everybody, Eric here. And today I want to talk about this crazy hack that unless you were under a rock, you've probably heard about in the news. Quickly, as always, if this video brings you any value, please hit like, subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. All right, so quickly, right into this thing. What the heck happened? We're getting reports of the US government being hacked, the Department of Energy, the Nuclear Division, big companies, Here's the quick rundown of what's going on and what we're expected to come. What happened? There is this company called Solar Winds, and they produce a product for almost everybody that goes in and monitors all of their networking equipment, servers, computers. It has unrestricted access to almost everything because it has to. And they had a hack. And that hack looks like it went all the way back to March and nobody noticed. And this product, since it has access to everything, gave these hackers access to installing other things on other pieces of equipment. And we don't really know yet how far this is and how deep this is coming, but it affects everybody. So I think I mentioned this started in March. That's a long time. That was almost nine months ago. This has been working. And the best kind of hack in the world is one that nobody knows about. So you can insert all kinds of other hacks and vulnerabilities and, and malware and all this other stuff into a network. And now I wanna talk about specifically who this affects. So first of all, there's 18,000 corporate customers that this affects. These are not small companies like mom and pop shops around the corner. These are some of America's largest companies. And to top that off, of the Fortune 500 companies, which are the largest companies in America, 425 of those were using this specific product. So it, it, it doesn't get much scarier than this or much worse to the situation. And to even top that off even further, the US government, five out of five branches of the US government use this software. And the last information that we have is they've turned it all off right now because there's no quicker way to shut it down. And that is scary. Now we got to talk about who did it. That's where it gets even scarier. So nobody's really saying, hey, it was so-and-so that did it. They're saying a very sophisticated government, or we call them uh, attackers or bad actors. It's a weird terminology, I know. They're saying they did it. But the word is, it was Russia and that Russia went and did all of this, and this has been going on for almost a full year, and nobody noticed. Now again, that's just speculation, but it's pretty good speculation. To talk about now what's coming and what we have in the future, the biggest problem with this is the hack infected software that monitors servers and systems to make sure that they're not hacked and to make sure that they're performing properly. Now all those systems are either infected or shut off so things can be going on right now and we won't know about it. This is going to be months upon months upon months and this affects cities, water systems, this affects you know government entities, big corporations, and they have a lot of computers and a lot of servers and a lot of networking equipment. This is going to resonate and be around for a long time and we're not gonna know how deep this goes for months, maybe even years. This could be, they're calling it, the hack of the decade and the decade just began. One note that I wanna bring up is, we don't know yet, but this could even trickle down into the election situation. And I don't wanna speculate, the government's telling us that there was no impact that they're aware of, and I wanna highlight aware of, that this affected any kind of election equipment right now, but we, we are barely scratching the surface on this to know what this is going to affect. So the wrap up of this is, this is bad. This is as bad as it gets and that it was sponsored by another government. I mean, this is like 2020 type war declaration kind of stuff. We're talking about the biggest companies. We're talking about espionage. We're talking about the biggest government and the most secure and sensitive government agencies. It doesn't get much worse than this. So thank you for listening. Hopefully this brought you some value. Again, please like and subscribe. Got a lot more about this coming out and other tech and financial and money related stuff because this all ties together. So thank you for watching. And again, please hit subscribe.